Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the coolest Roblox channel, Blox Direct. Today we'll be talking about what is the Roblox Metaverse. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Slap that like and subscribe button. Let's hop right in. Some people refer to what we're building as the Metaverse, said David Bazuki, CEO of gaming company The Roblox Corporation, told the crowd that had assembled virtually to hear the company's pitch to investors in February of this year. We're shepherds of the Metaverse. When Roblox went public a month later, it quickly found itself valued at $45 billion. That's more than gaming giant EA, as well as the might of Ubisoft, Take-Two and Square Enix combined. Clearly, there is a significant amount of faith in Roblox's promises. But can Roblox actually build a metaverse? The term originated in Neil Stephenson's 1992 novel Snow Crash, the story of a pizza delivery writer who spends his free time escaping his daily life by plugging into a metaverse, a simulated world which allows its denizens to live as whoever they design their avatars to be, in a shared reality which is always on and beyond the control of any one user. Technology circles have long believed some version of this vision can be and will be feasibly existing. Stephenson himself now works at augmented reality startup Magic Leap. Even if what that would look exactly when transposed into today's world is still quite unclear. Matthew Ball, an investor and writer focused on the metaverse, says that the easiest way to think of it is as a quasi-successor state to today's mobile internet, except instead of accessing all the internet via separated 2D web pages or apps, we'll experience it via persistent interconnected virtual simulations. It's a wildly ambitious prize with unfathomably lucrative potential. Many competitors are circling the waters, including Epic Games' Fortnite, Facebook's Horizon, VR Chat, Core, Sanzar, Decentraland, and of course, Roblox. Manuel Bronstein, Roblox's chief product officer, says that the company's journey began at the turn of the 1990s when eventual co-founders David Bazicki and Eric Castle developed the 2D interactive physics and the 3D CAD software working model. These were simulated physics laboratories which allowed users to design environments they could experiment with by constructing destructible houses for instance or crashing two cars together at various speeds, or maybe by taking the tools in altogether weirder and more unexpected directions. Witnessing the creativity and imagination of these players as they built and socialized together inspired the team to replicate it on a much grander scale. Bronstein says their vision was to create a platform for shared experiences and usher in a new category, human co-experience, that did not exist at that time. In 2006, Bazicki and Castle launched Roblox Studio. It was, in Bronstein's own phrasing, an immersive creation engine, blending gaming, creation, and social networking. Roblox might have the veneer of a video game, but it's perhaps more accurate to describe it as a set of tools its users can wield to build their own games or experiences as the company sometimes referred to them, to be hosted on the Roblox platform. These creation tools are designed to be less daunting to the entry-level developer than professional game engines, and fully customizable frameworks exist across numerous genres. These include maze runners, first-person shooters, tycoon simulators, and freeform roleplay genre, where developers create worlds, schools, cities, historical eras, sci-fi dystopias, and etc. for users to project their own stories onto, informed by their interactions with the setting and other users. Roblox's 20 million and counting experiences in existence today generally share a common Lego blockesque aesthetic redolent of sandbox creation titles such as Minecraft and Trove. Roblox can be free to play, paid, or freemium. Developers receive a pro 
approximately 70% of the Robux. The platform's own mini currency spent inside their experiences. As of 2020, the company has launched a new scheme whereby developers receive engagement-based payouts according to how much time users of Roblox's subscription service have spent inside their experiences. This brings me to the end of our video, that's all for me today, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you guys could hit the like on this video, and turn on notification, so when I upload next, you guys get notified would mean a lot. Also, if you guys could hit the big red button, and subscribe to my channel, it would be great. That's all for me today, see you guys in the next video, and peace.